So today we're going to do another sound sort for um, our video small group. And I have the letter Y, like Yusuf Yarn and Yusuf Yo-Yo, and the letter B. We don't have anybody in our class that starts with that letter. So I'm going to say B like baby. So I have some objects on the table again that we're going to sort, but first we're going to start with our letter. Here's the letter Y. I want you to air write it with me. It's slant down, slant up, then go to the point and tall down. And then our lowercase y is, you gotta make sure I'm writing it right for you, is slant down. And then you're gonna come up to like the middle and you're just gonna do a slant up. And y says y. Y says y. Y says y. Every letter makes a sound and Y says y. So all the objects that we'll be placing in the Y container will have the y sound at the beginning. And then I have another letter. It's a B, so let's air write it together. It's tall down. So you're gonna go to the top, you're gonna roll around and roll around. And I'm going to put that in the B container. And then I have a lowercase b. And it is a tall down and then a roll around. And that's the lowercase b. And it says b. B says b. B says b. Every letter makes a sound and b says b. Hopefully my dogs don't bark too much so that I don't have to stop and try to redo this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with sorting, it says yogurt. Yogurt. What sound do you hear in yogurt? Do you hear a b or a y at the beginning? I hear the y sound in yogurt, so I am going to put it into the y container. The next thing I'm going to sort is I see a boat. Boat. What do you hear at the beginning of boat? Do you hear a y or a b? If it was y like y, it would say yote, but it's a b like b, so it's a boat and it's going into the b container. The next thing I have is yarn like Yusuf yarn. Now his picture shows a ball of yarn. It's upside down. I know, it's okay. His picture is um, a ball of yarn. This is just a long sky, skein of yarn. So we're gonna put this in the Y container because we know Yusuf yarn starts with Y. The next thing I'm gonna sort is what is this? It's a bat. What container is the bat going to go into? Is it going to go into the Y or the B container? Now, on the beginning of this word bat, I don't hear the Y yet. I hear B, B. So I'm going to put the bat in the B container. And he's kind of tricky to put in there. Okay. The next thing I'm going to sort... Is this a little teeny tiny animal? It's a... My dog is going to bark a little. It's a yak. And that's a type of animal. They're big and furry. And I think they're kind of related to um, a cow. And yak. What sound do you hear in yak? Yik, yik, yak. Do you hear the y sound or the b sound? I hear the y sound at the beginning of yak, so I'm going to put it in my y container. Oh. The next thing I'm going to try to sort is this sign. It's a special kind of sign. You might see it on the street, and it says yield, yield. What do you think that might have to go into, the B container or the Y container? Yeah, yeah. 
I hear that Y sound. I don't hear build, I hear yield. So I'm gonna put it in our Y container. I also have a little bell. Where do you think this might go? In the Y or the B? Bell, B, B, bell. I hear that B sound on the beginning of the bell. Now here's a cute little bottle, baby bottle. So I'm pretty sure most of you know that this pie goes in the B sound, so B. I'm gonna have trouble fitting all these things back into the B container. Next I have, I know most of you know what this is because you like to play it. Remember that time I made the basket in the gym with the basketball? This is a basketball and I hear B. If it was Y, it would say y'all, but it doesn't, it says ball, so it's a B. Um, and this is a pom-pom, but I'm thinking they put it in because it's yellow. What letter do you hear in the beginning of yellow? Y or B? What sound, what letter sound? Y or B? I hear the Y sound, it's not bellow. It's yellow. And here we have a banana. B. I hear that B sound at the beginning of banana. And then our last item. One of our little friends has this in his is his picture. It's a yo-yo. Oh, and it really has a lot of string. Miss Marlene didn't realize that. So yo-yo, does it go in the B container or the Y container? I'm gonna wind it back up. So I think it needs to go into the Y container because this is Yusuf Yo-Yo's picture, yo-yo, and he starts with Y. So that's the end for our Y sort and our B sort. I have two more containers we're gonna do today in this video. And you all should know this letter. It's G, like in good. So I'm going to pour out the G container so we can sort into it. And I have the P container. My daughter is laughing at the pig. I'm not quite sure why, but she is. It just looks funny. It looks so. She thinks it looks funny. Okay, so I have the letter P here, and it is, get your writing fingers out, tall down, and roll around or slide around. And that's the uppercase P. The lowercase P is pretty similar except it has more of a short down and then a roll around. So short down and roll around. And it has a little stem at the top that the, the uppercase P doesn't have, if you notice. It has a little, a little bit of extra stem to it. And then I have the letter G, which is circle around and slide across. And then I have the lowercase g, which is a circle around. And then you're going to do short down with a tail or a hook on the bottom. And remember, g says g. So we'll sing that one first. G says g. G says g. Every letter makes a sound. And g says g. And moms and dads, we try not to put an a sound on with our letters because that's not what they sound like. So we don't want to say guh. We want to say guh. And it's hard to do. Our P says what? A lot of people should know P because we have pizza a lot at school. But P says p. P says p. P says p. Every letter makes a sound. And P says p. I don't want to hear p. It's p. It's a soft sound. So our first one we're going to sort because he's so big is a pig. 
big pig rhyme. Miss Marilyn was being silly. Pig, what do you hear in the beginning of pig? Do you hear the p or the g? In the beginning of pig, I hear the p. It's not a gig, it's a pig. So I'm gonna put it in our pea container. What about this one? Alex likes these ones a lot, I know. It's a pickle. What do you hear in the beginning of pickle? Do you hear a g or a p? G or p? I hear a p. So I'm going to put it in the pea container. She doesn't like the mailman and he just came and gave us our mail. Okay, so let's continue with our sound sort. We have a pumpkin. P pumpkin. Do you hear a p at the beginning or a g? If it was G, it would say gumpkin. That's a silly word, but it's pumpkin. P I see something that I think a lot of you are gonna say, it's a monkey, it's a monkey. But it's not because it has to start with either G or P. So what could this be? It's a gorilla, like in Good Night Gorilla. What does gorilla start with? Do you hear a G or a P? I just said P, it's P or a G. Gorilla, I hear the G, G sound. If it was P, then it would say Parilla. It's not a Parilla, it's a Gorilla. But Parilla and Gorilla rhyme. Next, I have something that everybody loves to get. It's a present. What sound do you hear in this? I hear p -p 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 present. I don't hear G, because then it'd be a present. Nobody wants a present. They want a present. And let's see. Oh. This is a goat, like three billy goats gruff. What do you hear in it? Do you hear p or g at the beginning? Is it a pot or a goat? It's a goat, so it goes with the g, g, goat. I have another one, and it's kind of silly. It's a game. It's a tiny little game. Do you think game goes in the sound or the g sound? Is it pame or game? It's a game, so it goes in the g container, the g container. And I have a pan. Is that p or g? P or g? It's not a gan. It's a pan, so it goes in the p container. And I have something, this is gonna be hard for you guys maybe to recognize, it's gum. It's like a pretend gum. And so, what container do you think gum would go in? G or P? Is it pum or gum? It's gum, so I hear the G sound and I'm gonna put it in. Here's something everybody likes, it's a guitar. Does it go in the G? or p, the G or the P. It's not a patar, it's a guitar, so you're gonna put it in the G container. Next I have paint and a paintbrush. Do those go in the P or the G? Is it a gaint and a gaint brush? or a paint and a paintbrush. It's p 
paint. And the last but not least is pizza. And you should all know this because we wrote it on the board. And pizza's P-I-Z-Z-A. So we're gonna write, we're gonna not write because <laughs> I don't have anything to write with, but we're gonna put it in the P container. And that's it for a small group today. I will see you all on Monday with another small group. Bye.